Designing the service environment is both an art and a science and often expensive to implement. The physical environment that customers experience plays a central role in shaping the service experience in enhancing or undermining customer satisfaction, especially in high contact people processing services. Disney theme parks are often cited as vivid examples of service environments that make customers feel comfortable and highly satisfied and leave a long lasting impression. In fact, organisations from hospitals to hotels and from restaurants to the offices of professional service firms have come to recognise that the service environment is an important component of their services marketing mix and overall value proposition. Designing the service environment is an art that takes a lot of time and effort and it can be expensive to implement. Service environments, also called service scapes, relate to the style and appearance of the physical surroundings and other experiential elements encountered by customers at service delivery sites. Once designed and built, service environments are not easy to change. Physical evidence or service gate, refers to the style, appearance and functionality of the physical surroundings in a service setting. Managing the organisation's physical evidence includes everything tangible, from its physical facilities to brochures and business cards to its personnel. An organisation's physical evidence affects the consumer's experience throughout the duration of the service encounter. When developing the facility's atmosphere, the service organisation must consider the physical and psychological impact of the atmosphere on customers, employees and the organisation's operations. Just as the organisation cannot be all things to all people, the atmosphere developed will likely not appeal to all consumers. This model shows that there are customer response and employee response moderators. This means that the same service environment can have different effects on different customers depending on who that customer is and what they like. Beauty lies in the eye of the beholder and is subjective. Employees are an important consideration when designing the service environment because after all, employees spend much more time there than do customers and it's crucially important that designs become aware of how a particular environment enhances or at least does not reduce the productivity of frontline personnel and the quality of service that they deliver. Internal customer and employee responses can be categorised into cognitive responses, such as quality perceptions and beliefs, emotional responses, feelings and moods, and physiological responses such as pain and discomfort. These internal responses lead to overt behavioural responses such as avoiding a crowded department store or responding positively to a relaxing environment by remaining there longer and spending extra money on impulse purchases. At the other end of the spectrum are services that customers can acquire on their own, self-services. Self-service environments are dominated by the customer's physical presence and include services such as ATMs, miniature golf courses, postal kiosks and self-service car washes. The environment of self-service establishments should be constructed to enhance customer attraction and satisfaction. This car, with its odd paint job, is more than your typical rental. It's actually part of a bold experiment in public transportation going on now in Paris. The car, which is powered by an electric motor, can be rented by the hour from kiosks that dot the French capital. The idea is to give Parisians bent on driving an eco-friendly and cheap way to get around the city. The program, called Autolib, officially launches on Monday and already has its fans. I used to have a car, a small smart, which I sold off because it's getting too complicated in Paris now. So I use public transport, 
and for me this is an excellent compliment, especially when I have to go shopping and get some bulky stuff. The concept of pay-as-you-drive cars comes amid a growing trend to share transport. That's something advocates say will save drivers from spending thousands on a car, while still giving them the freedom to hit the open road. Andrew Raven, Reuters.